you guys, it's Captain Dorf here, and today it is episode 5 of my FIFA 18 Racing Prediction Series, and I will be doing Manchester United. And we'll get straight into it, we'll kick off with the goalkeeper David De Gea, I think he's probably the best goalkeeper in the world, but I don't think EA will give him the best rating, I reckon Neuer will beat him again, and De Gea will keep his 90 rating. At right back we have Antonio Valencia, again I think he'll keep his rating, he's been, he's been pretty good there. Uh, at right back, he got a team of the season card for it, but I don't think he'll get a, any upgrade or downgrade because of that. Next up we have Daily Blind, I put him at left back because they use a number of different players there. Um, mm, I was wondering about this one, I've left his rating the same, I don't think he deserves an 81 but I'm, I was thinking that these ratings are what I think that EA will give the players, so I've left it the same because I think EA will probably give Blind about an 81. Especially if he gets more game time. Next up is um, Chris Smalling, and I think that he's got to get a downgrade from 84 to 83. 84 was a bit steep, so surely he's got to get some kind of downgrade. Probably only one because it is EA, and you know they like United. So I'm gonna give him an 83, and hopefully it won't be as OP as he was in the last FIFA. Then you've got Eric Bailly. Um, Again, I've left his rating the same. I, do, I think 82 is a bit steep. He's not as good as everyone tries to make out, but of course I've upgraded to some of his stats, so he's OP again, like he was in the last FIFA. I think 82 is probably about what EA will give him. And next up we have Nemanja Matic, a new signing for United, and I think that was a very good signing actually. He's a very good player, and I think they will keep his 84 rating. It's a fair rating. He's a great defensive mid, and yeah, it's as simple as that with Matic. 84, I think. Next up is the big one, Paul Pogba. Now, I've had a few Paul Pogba rants in the past, and surely, surely EA can't give him another 88. 88 is absolutely mental. 86 is far too high as it is, but come on, it's EA. They're not going to give him what I think he deserves. It's probably about 80 at maximum. But I've given him an 86. I think he's been absolutely poor last season. This season, he'll probably be a little better, surely. I don't think he can get any worse, but I think 86 is probably about what EA will give him. I would give him much less, but um, you just got to try and predict what, what rating he'll get in FIFA 18. So I've given him an 86. One matter, he should get a downgrade, but he won't because it's EA and they love United and they love matter, so they're going to give him an 84. <sighs> I'd love to actually do um, predictions that I think the players should get rather than what they will get because let's move on and we've got Mkhitaryan next and um, I'm giving him an upgrade, probably doesn't deserve an upgrade, he has been pretty good but EA will certainly give him an upgrade, uh, an upgrade on pace, upgrade the stats as well, why not, because he plays for United, I'm sorry but this is this is what this video is, these players play for United so EA will give, him, will give them really high ratings because that's how it works, that's how it works on FIFA, next up Martial, I've left his rating the same because he was absolutely diabolical last season but I've upgraded all his stats because He'll be just so he can be OP again like he was in last FIFA because that's what EA won. It's, just, it's irritating. These players don't deserve these high ratings after the awful season they had. Sixth place in the league. That can't justify these ratings. But hey, this is what I think that they'll get, not what I think they deserve. And next up we've got Romelu Lukaku who will obviously get an upgrade because he costs £75 million. Like Pogba got an upgrade when he moved in Juventus United. They're not even seeing him, they're not even seeing him play much yet. But of course they're giving an upgrade. 84 to 86, upgrade some of the stats too. It will probably cost them um, over 100k into next FIFA. And yeah, he'll just, be, he'll just be a mental player to play against, even though he's not as good in real life. I mean, we haven't seen him play that much yet. He's been decent when he has played. But... <laughs> But well, EA will just presume that he's going to be brilliant and he's going to help United win the league. So they'll give him a plus two at least. So 86 for Lukaku. And that wraps up. <laughs> and that wraps up these predictions. And let me know if you think I've got any wrong. But I think I'm pretty accurate. This is what EA will give them. And um, <laughs> and tell me which team you'd like to do like me to do next in the series. Like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Adios.